everyone. I am here with a project share, and um, sorry if my video is a little dark today. I actually, it's not daytime yet. It's early in the morning. Anyways, I had made these, and I wanted to share. I did follow a tutorial on both of these items, and I will link those tutorials below. So I made a altered guest check pocket, and this is the one that I did. And these are the guest checks. I have purchased this from Etsy. It's a downloadable, printable file, and I will also leave that link. And I just printed it on 65 pound weight cardstock. And then, oh, cut it out. Here it is, actually. Here is the person that I got it from on Etsy. I think it was like $2 or something for the file, and it came with two different colors of pink, a dull kind of pink, which is this one, and then a brighter um, type pink. So these are the guest checks that I used. And this is what I made. I made actually made two. I'll take out the ephemera pockets. <clears throat> I actually made more than two. I think I made six all together, but I already sent off the six that I made. No, I sent off. Oh my, I actually have the other one. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I had done them for a, um, I had done them for a, a swap, and that is why I, um, was excited. I was excited to do them. So they're all pretty similar because I used the same, um, tissue paper from Tim Holtz, which is, do I have it somewhere? Oh yeah, I do. This is the tissue paper that I have used. Um, I don't know if it comes like this in a box anymore. I have had this in my stash for a, a while. So it looks like this came out in 2012. Yeah, so I've had this for a long time. Anyways, I decided to go ahead and use it. And this is the back side. Isn't that pretty? And then I used a lot of dis, um, sprays, you know, like, uh, what are they called? Oxide sprays, distress oxide sprays. These are the sprays that I used to create the background. And I was super fortunate. Um, a while back, I uh, won them a couple years ago. When they first came out, I entered... I don't know, some contest, and I won, and I got, like, the set of all the colors that came out at that particular time. Now, there is other colors, which I don't have, but that's okay. Anyway, so these, and I just sewed with my sewing machine to create the pocket, and like I said, I followed a tutorial. I don't believe in the tutorial she sewed them. I think she just glued hers, so it would work either way. And then I just added a few pieces of ephemera to the inside just to give it some fun. And um, yeah, so that's what I have been working on, my newest obsession. And then along with that, I made um, some vintage looking tape. This is not my idea. It's been all over YouTube for some time. And it's just regular scotch tape. And this piece that it is on is a laminating pouch. And I just made this sign and ran it through my laminator so it would be, you know, stiff. And then I just stuck the tape on there. And it peels off pretty easily, you know. And you can just use as many pieces as you want. So what I do is I will just peel it up like this and then I take my scissors and I just cut a piece off and then I do fold over the little corner here so that I know where it's at and then I just take my piece of ephemera or whatever it is and I just place it on there 
I'm going to trim this off because that's where I had it folded. And then you just fold it over and ta-da! It looks like a piece of aged tape. So how I made this was by following a tutorial. Super easy. Um, you use alcohol inks. So I have these alcohol inks that have probably been in my stash for a good 15 years, believe it or not. So I already had these alcohol inks and I use, I don't know if it's going to come through, this color which is butterscotch. And then in the tutorial on YouTube it said to use like a darker brown color. And I did not have a brown. I had this yellow butterscotch color. But you can make your own color brown. So I mixed red and green. Red and green together makes brown. So I had this terracotta color and this lettuce green color. And I just stuck it on a little um, Dollar Tree tray and just added a few drops of each and mixed it up with my finger, which I had wore gloves because this will stain your hands. And then I just rubbed it onto the tape and let it dry. And when it dry, it doesn't come off or anything. I mean, I think if you were to get it wet or to use rubbing alcohol, then yeah, it would definitely come off. But I wanted to make some for my own use and thought, you know what, I'm going to give that a try because... I think it is super fun to have your own aged tape. So I just wanted to share those things and hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Thank you very much. Have a great day.